Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you do not already have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. You can contact me anytime on my website TooCoolStamping.com. I'll be happy to get catalogs to you and help you in any way I can. Hey you guys, we have an awesome class today. It is very, very awesome. We're going to be working with the Berry Blessings stamp set and the gorgeous, very delightful paper. I'll show you a little bit uh, more up close in a minute. These are the two items that are available as a bundle as part of celebration. So remember, right now we're in the middle of the most awesome time of the year, celebration. That means that you can get free items when you place qualifying orders. Now, most of the things from the celebration flyer are uh, are free when you place a $50 order. The Berry Blessings bundle with a stamp set and designer series paper are free together as a bundle, as a combo, when you have a $100 order. So that's what we're gonna be featuring today because it is amazing. You guys, I have been, I've been seeing all kinds of awesome projects all over the internet, I'm sure you have too. And we have some special, um, we have a special offer today. You know, usually I do a five card class kit that I allow you to have for free when you place a le at least a $35 minimum order using the special host code for the week. This week, if you have a hundred, we'll still be doing that. Uh, this week, if you have a hundred dollar order, uh, which is what you would need to qualify to get that Berry Blessings stamp set and Berry Delightful Paper combo, then I'm going to add on an additional 20 card ideas in the form of a tutorial. So you're gonna get a tutorial with 25 total projects, the five projects that we're doing today, as well as 20 additional ideas that I have gathered from my fellow demonstrators. So, and a couple of them are mine too. So I know you're gonna love them and I, I know that that is gonna make it really worthwhile. So you can place a $100 order, get that Berry Blessings stamp set and designer series paper combo for free during celebration, and then also get that 25 tutorial, uh, 25 card tutorial to go with it. Plus you'll get the, the project kit for the five cards that we're showing today. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Um, well, first, let me just remind you about celebration because we're kind of, we're almost halfway done. I can't believe it's, we're getting close to wrapping up the first month of celebration. It's only two months this year, so it ends February 28th. So don't miss out on all of the cool freebies that you can get when you place an order, including this one that you are gonna have to get after this class today. I hope you guys love it. Okay, hold on. We're gonna turn the camera around. So, a little roller coaster ride, close your eyes if you want to. Whoops. Nothing like seeing my hand in the way. All right. There we go. We got everything all locked in. This is, let's start out with the stamp set. This is the Berry Blessings stamp set. And you can see that it's a two-step stamp set. So you get leaves with an outline and then a filler stamp. Blueberries with an outline and then a filler stamp. More leaves that go with it and some really nice sentiments. I absolutely adore this stamp set, but the real highlight of this combo is the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. You guys, this paper, is amazing. It has a gorgeous watercolored image on every pa a pattern on every paper. And let's look at them up close. So you have raspberries with some beautiful patterns on the back. Here's more, maybe blackberries or mulberries and some coordinating paper on the back. This ended up actually being my favorite. I love all the blues for this blueberry paper, and I love that plaid on the back. So awesome. All of these gorgeous watercolored strawberries are beautiful, and a lovely, it's almost like a picnic-y looking pattern on the background. This is my second favorite pattern. So many beautiful colors that you can coordinate with all the blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries, and then another really fun summery green plaid, and then the final one with some little tiny strawberries. 
and that strawberry pattern. So you can have, um, you can actually use uh, the strawberry builder punch, which I'll show you that in a minute. So this particular class is not just about the, the Berry Blessings uh, stamp set and the Berry Delightful paper, because I wanna also show you what coordinates with it. In the mini catalog, you'll find the Sweet Strawberry stamp set. And this has all the same kind of fonts with some additional really awesome, very versatile, all occasion sentiments and some additional two-step stamped images. So you have the outline of the strawberry and the filler, the top of the strawberry outline and the filler, two different sizes of flowers, outlines, and fillers, and also some leaves and a little um, floral background too. A lot of really awesome versatile images. You can get that in a bundle with the strawberry builder punch. This punch includes a punch for the strawberry, the leaf, the top of the strawberry, and the flower. So all of the two-step images that you're seeing here are gonna be able to be cut out, punched out really easily with that strawberry builder punch. So, and plus it coordinates with this paper beautifully, obviously, with all these beautiful strawberries. So I absolutely love using all of these things together. There's so many different possibilities. They're just, it's just absolutely amazing. Let's turn some more light on here. There we go. Um, so I had so much fun. There's, and there's, like I said, there's so many different things you can do with it. I couldn't fit them all in to a five card class. So that's why I'm offering a 10, or actually it's 25 project tutorial. Uh, and that is for free, along with the five card class kit, when you have a $100 order. Now remember, you need to use the host code. This will be good through February 3rd, 2021, and it's 3HUB23MD. That will get you the free products that I'm offering. So again, with the $35 minimum order, you get the free five card class kit. And then with the $100 order, that's what you'll need to qualify to get this awesome paper as well as the Berry Blessing stamp set. You're going to want this for sure. But you'll also get the 25 card tutorial. That'll be a tutorial for the five cards that we're doing to get today, plus 20 additional, additional card projects that use both the Berry Blessings and the Sweet Strawberry stamp sets. All right, hopefully that makes sense. It's a lot of stuff, but you guys are gonna love these projects. I really think you will. And I don't know about you, but it's kind of wintry around here, dreary a lot of times, so it's really nice to have a cheery and summery kind of project to be playing with today. All right, we're gonna start out with a Just Jade background for the first one. And this is our regular traditional card base, a five and a half by 11, eight and a half by 11, I mean five and a half, sorry, five, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at uh, four and a quarter. Let me get my paper piercing mat over here. We're gonna be stamping on this today because both of these stamp sets are photopolymer. They're two-step stamp sets, so you it makes sense. You can see through those so that you can really uh, line everything up with the two steps. All right, we're gonna start out with a little piece of that very delightful paper. It's four by two, and we'll adhere that to the bottom of our Just Jade card base. Next, we're going to have the top of that. I've already texture embossed this piece. This is a four by three and a quarter piece, and I've textured it with the Tasteful, text, uh, tasteful Textile uh, embossing folder. I'm getting tongue-tied today. We'll use the seal. You'll definitely want to use the seal or something comparable for adhering that nice and securely. We have a little strip here of Knight of Navy. It's four by one half. And we're gonna just add this right across 
the middle here, right where the seam is. All right, I'm loving that already. Now we, I already have a die cut from its basic white that's die cut with the, the stitched shapes dies in the largest oval. And we're gonna stamp some blueberries today to go, to go with the blueberry paper, obviously. When we do our two-step stamping, I like to start with the outline image first. So I'm gonna do that in just jade. And I'm just gonna have this kind of come in from the side, right there. Next, I am going to stamp the filler image. If you wanted to, you could stamp off once, but I've found that this particular stamp set, it has the distinctive style of stamp and it's designed to give you kind of a, uh, a gradated, um, faded look anyway. So you don't really have to stamp off on those. All right, next let's do the blueberries. We'll have our blueberry outline first, and we're gonna stamp those in Pacific Point. I don't know about you, but I don't use Pacific Point very much, but it looks fantastic on this project and with this paper. So there's our blueberries, and again, we'll stamp the solid image in Pacific Point right over the top trying to line these up. You wanna look straight down over the top. I can't quite get all the way down straight because of the camera, but we did pretty good there, not too bad. So here is our blueberries. We're gonna add that to our background with some dimensionals. And be nice and popped up and then we'll add a sentiment and there's lots of fun sentiments to choose from on both of these stamp sets okay here is that and then I've already die cut a little label this is from the ornate frames die set and just in basic white we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Knight of Navy to match that background little strip. And we're gonna use the sentiment Bountiful Blessings. And we'll just, we're gonna pop that up right here. So let me, we'll just add one dimensional here and then a little bit of seal. Get that going, whoops. And we have some little strays of paper from the die cut. There we go, bountiful blessings. All right, and then we're gonna finish up, of course, with a little sparkle. You know I need a little sparkle. We're gonna add just some rhinestone jewels, the large ones, right here at the side to kind of dress that up. And I'm also gonna add some Wink of Stella. And I noticed that if you go right in after you have stamped, you're going to actually make that ink bleed a little bit. So it fills in the color a little bit more than just the stamping. I don't know if you can, can you see the difference between this one and this one? It kind of makes the ink bleed just a little bit and has a nice fill to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some shimmer to that. Now because it's making the ink bleed, there is just a tiny bit of blue on that. You wanna wipe that off before you go to the green, before you go to the Just Jade. So as you change colors, make sure that you wipe off on your scrap paper. All right, there we go. There is our very first card, mainly using the uh, Berry Blessings 
stamp set and the very delightful designer series paper from the celebration selection all right you know i like to do two cool versions my second version i did a horizontal card we started with the soft sea foam i did that brick wall background i love that look and i used a circle this time coming in from the edge instead of an oval I used another little die cut from the Stitched So Sweetly's dies and another one of the sentiments. This time I stamped it in Pacific Point because I changed that middle uh, strip to, to Pacific Point. So those are our two cool versions of that card style. And this is the card that's going to be in your class kit. All right, our next project is going to be a little fun fold. I like to mix it up a little bit. So we're gonna start out with Rich Razzleberry. This is also a color I haven't used in a while. I'm loving that I can use a lot of different colors in this one. Um, okay, we're gonna, I scored this differently than a traditional card. So let me give you those measurements. So it is a, a standard five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of Rich Razzleberry. And then it is scored at the two inch mark the three and an eighth inch mark, the five and three eighths, and then the six and a half. So two, three and an eighth, five and three eighths, and six and a half. And I know sometimes um, it might be hard to get that one eighth inch score line. If you have a simply scored, easy peasy. Everything is scored by the eighth inch, so that's really simple. Um, and you can also do it on the stamp and trimmer as well, that makes it easy. All right, so first you're going to make the front of the card here. Then you're going to fold these back, a little Z fold on the edge. Burnish those down and we'll Z fold this side as well. So this is a kind of a fun little card base that will come out, it fits into a standard envelope uh, and then it's gonna come out and it's gonna pop up so you can actually stand it up uh, and people can sit it on their desk if they want to. So let's decorate all of those panels. We're gonna start with a two by five and a quarter inch piece of the Very Delightful paper. And we'll add that to this front panel, the middle panel. All right, next I have some side panels that I'm gonna do in that really pretty raspberry paper. This is five and a quarter by one and three quarter. And you're gonna need two of those and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your raspberries are going in the right direction. You don't wanna hang them upside down. Here's another piece we'll put on the other side. Those little dimensionals, they get everywhere. It's because I just throw them. It's probably not the best way. <laughs> you should see it after I'm done with, with the live class. They are everywhere. Okay, here our two side panels. Now we're also gonna add, you could add more paper here. I'm actually just gonna add some purple posy that I have also embossed with that same um, textile texture, tasteful textiles. And this is 7 8 inches wide. You could probably make it a, a full inch, but it, I think it looks just a little bit better if it's just seven eighths. Just a hair skinnier. And then of course five and a quarter long. All right. So the majority of our card is done now. And if you want these to really lay as flat as they can, you're going to want to go in with the 
point of your bone folder and just really, really push down really hard on those, on all of the creases. That'll help it lay a little bit flatter. But I can tell you one thing, this it won't lay completely flat because it's just kind of designed to be a stand-up card. All right, let's finish that one up with a focal point. I have a basic white die cut that I have um, die cut from the Stitched So Sweetly's dies. We're gonna add some raspberries in Rich Razzleberry. And we'll start again. Well, before we do that, let's put the sentiment so we'll have the positioning down. So this one I'm using, uh, you always have a way of making my day and we'll add that right to the center. And then we'll add some berries, kind of along the side here. Let's do this one kind of upside down. All right, and then we'll add our second, our filler, and I'm gonna stamp off once. Oops, I have it upside down here. If, I, if you don't stamp off once for the Rich Razzleberry, it's a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna stamp off once. You wouldn't necessarily have to. Lines up beautifully, and then we're gonna add a little bit of green with the stems. So simple to put these on. Now there is a two-step stamp for the stem, but we're just gonna use the, the solid one just to make it quick and easy. And you can see Normally, I would want to put maybe a piece of scrap paper over my um, piercing mat since I'm stamping off of this piece. You can see I've gotten a little bit of ink on there. This will come right off just with some water or maybe even soap and water, but usually water will just take that off. But um, it would help to have just a piece of copy paper there. That way you wouldn't have to do that. So there's our focal point. I love how that turned out. We're just gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. We wanna make sure that we don't get any dimensionals over here, so I'm just gonna flip that over 180 so I know exactly where to put them. Okay. Be sure to tell me if you what you like, if you like the the stamp set or any of the papers that you really like. I'd love to know what your favorites are. All right, we want to finish this up. If you wanted to, you could add some Wink of Stella. Again, that's gonna make that ink bleed just a bit. I'm not gonna do that for this one. I like the look of it as it is, but I am gonna add some pearls and I'm gonna alter the pearls with some dark, rich Razzleberry. So I'm just gonna kind of color around there And you gotta be careful because it comes off the paper sometimes. And then I'm going to add those to my focal point. Let's add one right here. One over here and another one down here. There we go. So this is our cute little stand-up display card. So you'll be able to stand that up uh, on a, you know, the recipient can stand that up on a desk if you want to. So where do you write? Well, you can write on the back. Okay, we'll show you the other one. I think I was looking at my pearls here. I think I must have used light rich razzleberry when I did those. I actually kind of like those better. So you might want to do light versus dark for the pearls. But here is what you can do for the 
writing on the back. So this is gonna be a two by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white. I stamped the sentiment in rich raspberry and then added a couple more raspberries at the bottom. So that's really cute. Again, that fits in a regular envelope. So it's you're good to go with that. All right, so let me show you the too cool version. If you guys like that one, a little different. I actually got the idea from a swap card that I received from Ruth Bingle. Let's make sure, yep. Ruth Bingle sent me this card and I loved her version so much. She used some different patterns of that designer series paper, the, the Berry Delightful. She actually used some on the inside too. So I love how that turned out. And she also used some, um, some frosted gems here as well. So thank you so much, Ruth. I appreciate that fun swap card and fun idea that I could case. So this one will be the one that is in your five card kit. All right, next up. This is another fun fold, also inspired by a swap card that I received. This one is from Amy Ferlici, and I'll show you hers when we're done. But we're gonna start out with just a quarter sheet of the Poppy Parade. So it's just four and a quarter by five and a half. We have a piece here of the Shaded Spruce, and this one is three and a quarter by five and a half. So we're gonna add that to our card base, our little foundation here, and we'll center that on that panel. Okay, next, I am gonna make a little flap for the front. So this is made out of basic white. It is three inches wide by the full length of the 11 inch uh, card stock and then just scored at the five and a half inch mark. Before we put that down, I'm going to add some very delightful designer series paper to the front. So this is three by five and a half. We're gonna cover that entire front piece. If you wanted to, I wanted to save paper, so I didn't, but if you wanted to, you could actually use only designer series paper instead of the basic white for this flap. I just didn't wanna use that much, and plus I liked that uh, having a little bit of more of a sturdy uh, card than just the designer series paper. So we're gonna line this up on our front flap. Very good. And then you might even want to, if you wanna do any stamping, you might wanna do it now. You know what? I'm starting to get that ink on my, on my card stock. See, that's why you have to keep it clean. We'll just flip it over and we won't worry about it. There we go. All right, so make sure you have the right wave opening and then center that. So there's our card base. I love that. Really fun. Then we're gonna decorate and I already have a basic white die cut. This is from the Hippo and Friends. We're gonna stamp the happy birthday, you sweet thing. This is from the Sweet Strawberry stamp set. And we're stamping that in the shaded spruce. And we can pop that up with some dimensionals. And you probably could just end it with that because it's just so pretty just the way it is. But I'm gonna dress it up just a little bit. I'm gonna add some polka dot tulle ribbon across the bottom here. So I'm gonna wrap it around and just tie it in a knot. I love this ribbon because it's, obviously it's kind of, you can see through it, transparent. So you don't cover up too much of the background, but it adds just a hint of texture and kind of whimsy, I think, to your card. 
All right, and then again, you could stop right there. You could add a little bit of bling and be done. I wanted to add a couple of more little stamped images. So I'm gonna do some leaves. These are from the strawberry, let me, sh let me see. Oh no, they're from Berry Blessings. They all go together so well. You kind of forget which stamp set they go with, whoops. Let's try that again. Flip it over, there's always two chances. I need to re-ink my ink pad, it's seeming like. All right. So we'll stamp that over the top here. Can't quite see, pardon my head if it's getting in the way, there we go. And then let's do a little raspberry. We'll do that in Poppy Parade. We're gonna need to clean our raspberry. So get out your Simply Chamois. Squish that on there and clean it up and clean up the fill too. So we'll do Poppy Parade. This is just some scrap paper that we're using and fill it up with another Poppy Parade filler. And then we'll top it off with our little stem. And this one's gonna be in Shaded Spruce. There we go. So that's just on scrap paper. We're gonna need to cut that out. No dies for that, but there, it's really not very difficult to cut that out. It didn't take me much time at all. See how see how fast I did it? Ha <laughs> ha. Here it is. Ah, instant. All right. So we're going to pop this up right here on the side. I'm going to use just a little dimensional. And we're going to overlap that a bit. So maybe put a little bit of seal right on the edge. If I can pick it up. I'm having trouble with this one for some reason. It's not wanting to come out. If you ever do that, you just need to kind of advance it with your finger, but th sometimes I think that I'm getting a little bit too much sticky around the edge and you need to clean that up. Otherwise it makes it difficult to for the adhesive to advance on the when it's coming out. All right, so there's our leaves. We're gonna add our raspberry on top. Yeah, I need to get a different one. Let's see. Let's try this one. I'm tired of fighting that other one. Sometimes you just gotta clean them. Okay, we're gonna add that right here. And then we'll finish up with some rhinestones. Again, we're gonna alter them with our Poppy Parade dark marker. Stampin' Blends marker, just a couple of those. And add that to our sentiment layer. And there we go. That is our fun little center flap card. Really, really cute. If you want to, you can stamp a little sentiment. And I added some wink of Stella on that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit shimmery. So that is our, and oh, here's a diff, the difference too. I put the wink of Stella on that so you can see the difference between just stamping and then when you color it in, it does kind of smear that ink around just a little bit. So it gives you a little bit different look, but both of them are very nice. All right, so our two cool version I mentioned that this was a swap card, inspired by a swap card that I received from Amy Ferlici. And this was her card. So she started out with Rich Razzleberry, a Granny Apple Green layer, the different uh, razzle, uh, raspberry <laughs> paper from the Berry Delightful paper, a different sentiment, and um, some, I think it's from Flowers for, for Every Season, that white ribbon. 
and hers is just a little bit wider. I wanted a little bit more on the edges to show on mine, but I really, really appreciate that fun card idea. Thank you so much, Amy. All right, so this is the card that you will be getting in your five card kit. All right, we have a couple more to show you. This one, we're starting out with a neutral, the crumb cake, just a traditional card base. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're gonna add a little piece of some strawberry, very delightful paper to the bottom. And I loved that first card that we did with the blueberries when I did my two cool version and I use the brick wall um, texture. I really liked how that looked for some reason with the berries. I don't know if I'm thinking of like vines being planted around a wall. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I like that look. So I decided to texture this one with that same brick pattern. And this one is a two and a half. I don't think I gave you the measurements of the, the, um, the paper. The designer series paper is five and a quarter by one and a half, and then the brick is crumb cake, and it's five and a quarter by two and a half. So that's gonna cover the background. Next, we're gonna stamp a sentiment in Granny Apple Green. And this time it's wishing you the very best. That's also from the Berry Blessings stamp set. That's the celebration one. Then, so that's gonna go here. It's actually going to be layered. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you, sorry, I keep forgetting. The die cut here is from Stitch So Sweetly. I love that scalloped rectangle. I'm gonna have it layered onto some garden green cardstock, and this is uh, three and seven eighths by two and three quarter, just to make it peek out just a little bit. But um, we're gonna tie that with some linen thread before we put that down. So let's wrap just a little piece of linen thread around and tie it in a bow. tie that in a knot first just to keep it kind of in place and I always like to tie my bows upside down I don't know if it's just me or it just seems like they lay better so I know people have trouble sometimes with bows maybe that would help you too I don't know they just seem to the tails seem to lay a little bit better when I start upside down All right, so we'll trim that away. And we're gonna scooch that over just a little bit so it's to the side. There we go. Now we can add that to our background. really pretty. We're going to just use seal again to add that to the card front. And then because we're using the strawberry paper, you have to put some strawberries on there, don't you think? So let's show you how to use that strawberry builder punch. I have, just have some scrap paper here. And when you look at the Strawberry Builder Punch, you kind of want, before you do stamping, you want to see how everything is lined up on the Builder Punch. So you can see the strawberry is actually upside down. So that's how I'm going to stamp it, so that it can just be punched close to this edge upside down. So let's start with that. In some Poppy Parade again. upside 
upside down, one there and one there. And then we're going to do that filler image. Again, if you wanted to stamp off for a lighter strawberry, you could. I'm doing it at the full strength. And see how it's so beautiful. It really is designed to give that shading automatically anyway. I love that. Okay, the other thing I wanted to point out, because we have some other images here that are gonna be punched, you wanna make sure that your stamped images are far enough away so that this, if you put them too close, that flower is going to be punching into it. So make sure that you have a good amount in between so that you're not hurting any of your beautiful images. Woo, goes flying. All right, next we have our two strawberries here. We're gonna add those to the side here. But we need some stems. So I have put stems, and I actually put them on one block. You might find this helpful. I use the long um, H block and I put the outline on one side and then you can flip it and put the filler on the other side. It's kind of nice, especially with when you have a lot of sets or a lot of stamps in a set that are two step. And when I was designing, I had blocks everywhere and I couldn't find the stamps that I needed. If you pair them up on one stamp, if that works, um, at least it keeps the two stamps that go together together so they're a little bit easier to find. So just a little tip. All right, let's stamp this one in Granny Apple Green. Before we do that, let's see how it's set up on our punch. The stem is going to the left, so we want to stamp that way. It's gonna be a lot easier to punch if we stamp it in the right direction. And these, you can go because it's at the edge of the stamp, you can actually go pretty close together. It just means you have to punch in a certain direction so that you don't hurt the images when you are punching. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So our filler image there. And then let's give it a punch. So if you feed this in from the side, then you're not gonna have anything over here. You're not gonna be having anything over here, I should say, that's gonna be punched. If you came in from this other side, of course, you would be ruining some of your images. So you can do a whole strip of these. And that's kind of what I was doing when I was designing. I just started, I punched a whole strip of strawberries and a whole strip of the stems. While I was doing it, you might as well get them all done. And we're gonna attach those stems with, with a glue dot here. So I just put a glue dot and then, put, whoops, put it down just a little too far. A little cap on top of that strawberry. All right, then we can add some add those with dimensionals. So, so cute. I love how easy these are to put together. That builder punch just really makes it easy. All right, let's do, let me see. I need to position them a little bit better before I stick them. All right, let's go, let's go like this. That's cute. All right, we're gonna finish up with, this time we don't need to alter our rhinestones. We're gonna use the champagne rhinestones because they really match very well with this particular paper. So a few of those floating around. And that is our card. So, so cute.
Let me know what you think of that one. We'll be doing this one in our five card class kit that you can get for free with your $35 order. And then let's take a look at our Too Cool version. I'm loving this one too. This is with the soft sea foam background, that same paper. I was gonna try it actually. Um, some of these strawberries are Blushing Bride. And I started doing one in Blushing Bride, but when I tried it with the soft sea foam, I was really liking that. So hopefully you guys like that too. I use that tasteful texture embossing folder in the background, some jade gingham from the Flowers for Every Season ribbon combo pack. I used shaded spruce this time instead of garden green and um, just kind of flip-flopped um, the positioning just a little bit. I moved it over instead of centering it and stamped in shaded spruce a different sentiment. So let me know which one of those you like the best. We'll be doing this one in our class kit. All right, one more card, you guys. Hopefully you'll like this one. This one, no berries. We're going to be doing some flowers. So we're starting with Granny Apple Green, a traditional card base again this time. And this time we're going to be stamping with our Granny Apple Green and the Sweet Strawberry has a little floral. So we're gonna stamp with that. And I'm gonna just kind of fill this corner up a little bit and also this corner up a little bit. So a little bit on each corner. Then we have, I'm gonna use that same image and we're gonna stamp that for our focal point. It's gonna add that right there. And this, let me give you the size of this. This is a two and a half by three and a half piece of basic white. We're gonna stamp, let's see. I think that's all we need for the background, yeah. We have a couple of pieces, a couple of layers here. This is the Very Delightful Paper, three by four. And we're gonna layer that on a three and a quarter by four and a quarter. No, three and an eighth. Three and an eighth by four and an eighth. Just a hint peeking out. And put that, I think it has to do with being on this piercing mat that it's not starting very well. I thought maybe it would start a little easier. I don't know. Okay. So this is really reminding me of summer with this, it's kind of a picnic-y look. And we'll add this piece on top. And then we're gonna use that same Strawberry Builder Punch to punch some flowers. So I love how that's, that plaid's just, the check's just peeking out a little bit. So here's just another scrap of basic white. Gives you another reason to save those little scraps, right? And we're using some Bumblebee ink this time. And I'm just gonna stamp five of these. This is what I was doing with all the strawberries and the stems. I just would stamp a whole row of them. But we're actually gonna use all five of these. You can see how fast and easy it is. Okay, and I like using a little strip like this because it's gonna make that punching a lot easier. All right, this time we're coming in from this side and you can line it up pretty easily. Woo! I don't, yep, okay. A lot of things go flying as long as my little piece that I need doesn't go flying out of my reach. Ooh. I always say when I'm doing this at my in my in-person classes, I always say 
If I get one down my shirt, that's 500 points. Because sometimes I have actually gotten little bits fly right into my shirt. All right. <laughs> so here are five little flowers. Aren't they cute? They're so sweet. And I'm just gonna add those surrounding. I lost one. Oh no, I have two in my hand. I'm gonna put one. There we go. Just kind of around like that. And before I do that, I'm going to stamp a little sentiment so I can get better positioning. This one is gonna be the thank you from the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set. And we're stamping that in memento black to match that little black outline. And we'll do a little fishtail cut on the edge. So cut up the center and then corner to center, corner to center, up the center and then corner to center, corner to center. Okay, that's gonna go right here. Okay, let's assemble with some dimensionals. We'll pop this up first so that we know exactly what the positioning of our flowers and everything are. So sweet. And then the dimensionals just fit perfectly behind here. If you wanted to have some that you tacked down with seal and some that you popped up, that would be really fun too. I think I did that on my second version. I'll show you that. All right, so I'm just gonna add that right over the top so you can't see that green. I'll add one right here over the top of that flower. Another one over the top of that one. And then a few more just kind of random. And I'm gonna cover that stem up just so that it doesn't look like it's the end. All right, you know what we need now? We need a little bit of shine or sparkle. And then so I'm gonna add a couple of pearls. So let's do a couple over here and maybe one right over here. Okay, that's our last card. So sweet, nothing to do with berries, but still super fun and a great, um, a great project to do with that builder punch. Let me show you the too cool version. This time I started with Balmy Blue. I used that really pretty plaid blueberry paper different sentiment and you can see where I popped some of the flowers up in Pacific Point and then the other ones in balmy blue I left well this one I popped up but you can see I have two different layers there I thought that looked kind of fun too and I had my background stamping in balmy blue going in a different direction so so fun so this is the one that will be in our card kit let me get all of those together again so you can see everything that you're going to receive. You'll get all the parts and pieces for all of these cards, all the die cutting, all of the paper. Uh, you'll just need to add stamps and ink and adhesives, and you can make all of these cards in our five card kit. How do you get that? Well, you simply place an order with me at twocoolstamping.com click on the shop now link. Needs to be at least $35 minimum order. And uh, you need to use that host code 3HUB23MD. That will get you the free five card berry class kit. And you'll have until February 3rd of 2021, that's next Wednesday, to qualify for that free kit. Now don't forget, if you wanna upgrade and get even more awesome ideas 
with both of the stamp sets, both the berry blessings and the sweet strawberry bundle. Then place that $100 order. You'll be able to get that strawberry, sweet strawberry bundle, a lot of different accessories to go with it, but that $100 order will qualify you to receive a free Berry Blessings stamp set and the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. Remember, you get 12 sheets, two each of six different double-sided designs, and you get all that for free with a $100 order. What do you get from me? Well, you're gonna get that five card kit, plus you're going to get a 25 card tutorial. Five of the cards are gonna be the cards that you see here, but we'll have 20 additional cards that you'll be able to create different ideas that you'll be able to, to use with your two stamp bundles. So it's gonna be a great value. I know you're gonna have so much fun with these two collections of coordinating stamps and paper and punches and uh, it's just a lot of creative possibilities that I know you're gonna love. All right, everybody. Thank you so much again for joining me today during our live class. Uh, we'll be here next week. We're usually here on Thursday, so join me Thursday. And we're going to be at 10 a.m. next week. So join me on Thursday at 10 a.m. We'll have another live class for you. And I hope that you have a fun week uh, with all these fun ideas. All right, I'll see you next week. Until then, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Thanks again. Bye-bye.